Let's see if she cranks. Just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, here we go again with our last and final video featuring our damned Datsun. Today we're gonna tear into this thing and I'm just playing guys. We've been doing that since damn January. Uh, this thing's uh, I'm actually getting ready to drop it off at the interior shop today. Now, as you see here, we got some damn tow mirrors, all right? We, we stepped up our towing game here, so all you guys who roll coal and you flip your mirrors up, you don't want none here, okay? This old girl's whooped bigger for less before, all right? So you don't want none of this business. Uh, there's actually a video where we put these on on the second channel. A gentleman named Flip Flop Freddy come over and put those on for us. Uh, and we're going to do a will it run an old pick em up truck today but first we got a couple will it runs around here this damn rig's out of gas uh this one the battery's dead on damn grasshopper city over here these things are flying everywhere i'm gonna swat them i parked these before we went to michigan and that was the beginning of i i think these have been sitting for over a month is what i'm trying to say here there ain't no excuses guys sometimes i'm just a i'm a bad vehicle dad sometimes you know We've been giving this box truck so much attention and we've just been daily driving the Yeehaw, so these kind of got left here in the damn Pot County jungle to sit. It is toasty in here. Let's see if old Edna wants to fire up. I hear that fuel pump pick up fuel. cobwebs out of her there for a second she was idling a little rough i mean like r-u-f-f rough it, it wasn't sounding too good we might need to take her up and down the road a couple times and really blow the cobwebs out of her now gertrude here she's growing trees i see and she's out of damn gasoline well don't worry the yeehaw being the good little brother that he is uh gra grabbed old gertie here about four and a half gallons of some get her done 91 yesterday get this damn transformer opened up here don't mind that classic pudding splash there i was just i thought maybe we'd clean our gas tank while we're back here just grab her down with a little gasoline she'll be all right Guess what, guys? Next couple days, they said it may drop down to damn 80 degrees. We may get, get rid of this 100 degree weather. By 100 degree weather, I mean, that's the minimum, okay? It's not exactly 100 every day. It's just, man, I'm tired of it being hot. Speaking of hot and gasoline, it's, I mean, it's damn hotter than the Yeehaw when we set her on fire. I'm gonna save a little bit of that. Hopefully that's enough to get us out the damn Amazon forest. We got damn vines taking over our airbags. So the next great question here is one, is that battery going to have enough in her to get fuel all the way up to the carburetor before it dies? And then two, did you get that great quality merchandise from the www.puddingsfabricationshop.com? Boy, she features all the best stickers. We've got shirts with the Datsun King Delivery logo on it. Of course, we just... Guys, we just released hoodies last week, you know. That's, on days it's 108 degrees, you wanna release them hoodies. Uh, so maybe some of them are still available. We appreciate all the support there. Old Gertrude here could use a new skirt. Let's see if she could use a jump start. Uh, I'd say so. She could use a jump start and a damn washing, it looks like. Of course, I ain't charged her jump packs in about 
probably four months, so let's see if it's any good. See, if we would have swapped Ford engines into these things, we would have had to have been working on them for another few days to get them running again. Tree one, put in zero. Let's be honest here, guys. Do you even need bolts in these things or can they just be loose, huh? Hey, speaking of bolts, don't worry, the frame caught it. <laughs> just get us a little nut here. She's basically good as new. Maybe we'll get crazy and put a little torque on her this time even. And just like that, the two hungry lions arose from the jungle. good most people don't know she actually has the tow and go package the tow and go package is when you got that trailer on ready to tow slap that damn accelerator pedal and she'll go i need more parking space guys so we're gonna get all this crap out of her way she did not charge at all so uh, we may not be charging on this rig i guess this is what i get for my ford comment here some days she works some days she don't uh-huh according to this meter uh she's putting out 38.4 volts <laughs> i don't think that old alternator's got enough ugga duggas to make that happen of course i've had that baby since i was in seventh or eighth grade i just figure we'll park old gertie in here and slap her on the battery charger God bless the farmers. Guess who's loose here? Uh, it's almost like someone used to always steal batteries out of his trucks to do damn wheel it runs or something. So we'll give her about 40 amps for a buck 35 worth. And speaking of wheel it runs, we're still gonna do a wheel it run, guys. Uh, my, my life just usually ain't in shambles like this. And uh, I don't know if the regular viewers, hopefully y'all can tell. I did a damn deep cleaning and a half today of this shop. She had been a mess, and uh, over there's all looking good. I mean, actually cleaned the equipment and crap, guys. I gave this shop like a five hour scrubbing. That was long overdue, because I had I didn't really do one of them when we were building this. And uh, hey, yo, you better have white steely center caps, blue patina, and air ride if you want to sit in this shop. Uh, what I'm trying to say here, guys, is I planned on getting our trucks matched up today you know sometimes you just gotta do other crap and today i just decided having a clean shop again and uh, getting rid of the damn forest in front of my shop was more important we just we, we don't have time to get there and safely get back before cheer practice so we're just gonna get this thing loaded up on hard body rear and slightly wider of course mama didn't raise no punk so we ain't got no parking brake but it looks like our uh, bumper did us a solid there uh-huh she wasn't going nowhere Don't worry about that. She just got a little vacuum leak going on. What a freaking rig, guys. I ain't mad at that. I'm about to have to get my damn coat on today, guys. It's like 74 degrees, no sunshine. Man, I don't know what we did to deserve this weather. Let me gather us a couple tools to take with us. Better safe than sorry. So this truck we're about to go snatch up, guys, it actually came with my new property. And I do not know deadly about it. Uh, I think it's sitting on flats and I doubt any of them's gonna hold air. And of course I ain't got no rollers for these trucks. So uh, 
we're just gonna hopefully the winch is gonna do most of our work for us as far as getting her on the trailer anyhow having chain never hurt maybe we'll take big old betsy yeah maybe we'll just stick with bertha can a looby dooby never hurt hell even more chain might be a small ratchet strap. Maybe the hood won't close. Who knows? What the hey? Let's get buck nasty. Get the tow rope. Tow strap. Couple straps. Make sure we got that in case the old battery's dead and I think we're ready to ride. There she is. So boom, baby. There she is. Uh, this thing came with my place here. Now, luckily, the, the cows in the dead grass is making it where I can see it a little easier. And boom, right there in the grill. Looky there. 350. I can already see a condenser, so she's got the air conditioning. A little crack on our grill, but don't you worry about that. She's got the chrome bumper, and besides the chrome bumper, she's got all the trim. Besides all the trim, uh, she's got the right color combination, guys. I don't know what you call that, but it sure looks sweet being the, the green, white, green, tritone, whatever you want to call it. If you want to get real buck nasty, y'all want to start talking about this uh, Cavalier right here. She's got the five spoke mags, little patina on the roof. You don't even want to come to this backside and start talking about the spoiler. We need that to keep the damn power to the ground. Here's the bad side of this truck, okay? Rusted, but she also just, she took one hell of a humdinger at one point in her life. She comes with a spare, damn dual tipped power washer gun. I'm just saying, I know someone who's pretty good at power washing. She even got a toolbox set back here, and uh, damn, that's a good circular saw. Got her damn chalk string, one hell of a tape measure. Pot County Speed Square, damn bottle jack right there, folks. Got us a level that ain't even ever been out the damn package. We got some plumbing fittings. The receipt here says 2006. Nice extension cord. Uh, we hit the jackpot here, guys. Need some light bulbs? I got light bulbs. Well, if that was 2006, let's see the tag here. Looks like she says 2009. I was going to guess the early 2000s myself. 2009, that's when I graduated. you damn right you're looking at Class Clown 2009. Wood grain's disappearing, but she's got some nice carpet in her. Looks like someone may have been nice and ran through our glove box for us here. This baby is wood grain dripping. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but much more important than that, guess what I seen? Besides this sweet mirror, I seen the damn Pot County horn right there. Look, look at that baby. Those are way more common around here than uh, y'all probably care to know. Uh-huh, I think our battery's dead. Oh, what in the damn seat belt cutter? That's quick attach right there. She's ready to go. Top of that, we got some Roadmasters back there. What a damn rig we got here. What year is this thing, guys? 0376. I like the C10s and GMCs, whatever, guys, but I, I just don't know them well enough to start going, you know, that's obviously the grill for this or that, whatever. I see this side, we're rocking white stillies, but you come over to this side, and I think we're running caps. And she does have some rust here. Uh, first time really seeing that. It looks like our hood's done the classic uh, Chevy shuffle before. Oh yeah, she's split. Let's see if we can get this hood worked up. And we are really, really hoping this thing has a complete engine in it. Survey says, you damn right, baby. Uh, this thing's got dirt daubers all over. We got them down there, right there, down there, hop over to the back carburetor, whatever. Those puppies are everywhere. Now she also, well, she's ready to wash some windows. That stuff's blue, blue as can be in there. Well, she's a little chunky. She is all there though, and right there we got the damn ZD. She's the 350 with the whole four barrel on her. And this thing is complete down to the damn snorkel still being on there. Looks like she's got an HEI back there, so, uh, wonder what some oil looks like in this thing survey says oh she's there she's darker than coffee i mean she's dark dark but she's there she looks like she's kind of gassed down she damn sure smells like she's gassed down 
354 barrel with AC. Is that pretty good for a 76-ish, guys? I really don't know. I wonder if she's locked up or not. I may not have enough beanie weenies to spin her. Oh, she spun. Yeah. She spun once anyhow. So I'm guessing this thing would have a 350 turbo in her too. Uh, so far I'm digging her. Let's uh, let's spray down them hinges real quick. We're going to be real generous here. Go. There's a damn mouse or rat up in there. Just poked its head out. Come on out and play with the boys. Might be a little lube help it slide out of there. Who knows? Oh. I'd rather it come out and stay here than go to the house with me. Now the question is, are we going to be able to work this hood closed? Or did we just mess up by opening her? And uh, we probably messed up. Yeah, we'll just lube everything. Let's see here. Sometimes you just gotta come off the top ropes, guys. Oh! Yeah. They usually can't handle the booty bounce. That gets them every time. One good booty bounce to let it know who's boss and you're usually golden. And unlock that. Reverse neutral-ish. Hold up. Oh, I seen you hanging down there. Also classic Pot County. Every C10 in damn Pot County has one twist nut on it somewhere. Hey, our fenders may be rusted, but we got some damn rockers. Now luckily she didn't roll away here being in neutral. Our toe straps over here on the damn uh, half haul chicken rig she'll deliver that chicken baby and we got her full of trash again we'll just rob her back who wants to see the half haul get some love i'm thinking better tires change up the wheels we can polish her a little bit we need to cap the top you know uh she may need a couple decals or something she needs a clutch too but we ain't gonna talk about that yeah Boy, what in the Death Valley's going on underneath here? Get her strapped. Them sway bar brackets will hold or they won't. There she goes. I was so worried about that side, uh, I may have forgot to check this side. Well, she must roll pretty good considering uh, on flats, I was just able to push that back with no help. These two are flat for sure. Uh, back here, you can see why I was saying what in the Death Valley we got going on here. She may have just a couple PSI. And this one's definitely holding a little bit. We got her on. There we go. Travel all's not happy about it. Little air for motivation. Some ratchet straps for some stayification. Let's go see if she's going to be Pot County's newest sensation. Did I mention I know a good uh, pressure washer?
it go. Got this thing all cleaned up. Uh, stuff got a little steamy there for a minute, didn't it? <laughs> People next to me just got a free show. Uh, guys, I, I really just wanted to clean my travel on trailer. Uh, but usually I, I do like to clean the engines before we uh, work on them because you know rats and everything. So I just figured we'd kill like three birds with one stone. Yeah, go. <laughs> uh oh. She's ornery. All that damn work and them tires didn't even get clean. We're gonna. She's getting slicked up whether she likes it or not, okay? I may let her sit for over a month, but I'll be damned if I drive around with a dirty tire. Hell, I hit the spare on the damn trailer. I ain't bashful. What about the old flat? Hell, she can have a little loving too. Damn, everything's getting the foam around here. Damn Pot County white walls. Now, speaking of Pot County, uh, where's the best tow rig in Pot County? Found her. Before we just yank her off, I wonder what the chances are uh, these will maybe hold some air. Holy crap. She's trying anyhow. They were both trying until they weren't. Let's see the tow rollator beanie weenies this morning. Three flats ain't nothing. The backside went all right. Got hit with a little rock motion. Uh, hitting the front's gonna be trickier because we're turning. And by turning, I mean we're damn near off the trailer over here. And don't worry about that, it'll be fine. Maybe right in there-ish. Just take that old toe strap. You just work that baby through that steering wheel. That damn rain. Damn near forgot what rain was. I ain't seen that crap in about four months. Maybe that'll work. I got her for all I could when we had momentum. She just needed the classic flip booty reverse push from the Torola. That old Torola's tired, guys. She's done a lot of work in her day. Get, get. Whoop, whoop. And, whoop. She's got a gimp leg. We'll get her fixed up. That didn't sound good. It'll be okay. She just thought she had a gimp leg before. Guys, that was as easy as one, two, three. Uh, hell, we got her in the shop anyhow. We're a little rusty on moving full-size stuff, guys. We're used to just tossing these little mini trucks around, and yeah, we made we made the tow roll. I earned that one. Uh, let's get the. Keep forgetting there may be a damn mouse or rat underneath here. I ain't scared. You guys are scared. Uh, I think we're just gonna pull this hood off and just get it out of our way. Just get your favorite piece of angle iron out the back. Get our half propped up anyhow. These hoods are a little heavier than Dotson hoods, I guarantee you that. 
You don't want to crease the hood or scratch the paint. Oh no shit, Wild Bill's here. Let's start with pulling the breather off this thing where we can take a little closer look here. That old dryer duck. Whoa, good thing we didn't start her up. Looky there, found the old rat's nest. What do you think about that, Bill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I just go in there and insulate the inside that motor? How much you think's in the actual breather? <laughs> Earlier I seen a rat pop his head out of the hood, so he may be careful. He may uh -huh. come running out. <laughs> Air filter did her job and kept all that crud out of there. That air, air filter don't look terrible. It's not super old, says Napa right there. Uh, speaking of Napa, so does our radiator hose. An old, is that a quadrajetter? She's dim. No, that's a quadra junk. No, it ain't. That's a dirt, dirt dauber junk. That thing's covered. <laughs> she ain't very careful. <laughs> Get the old snorkel tube off. No, she ain't in there. Well, another thing is you get used to them mini trucks and you can reach everything. I, I ain't got long enough legs on me. Well, the good thing is it don't look like nothing got down in her. Let's see if we get them old dirt dobbies off there. I hit her with a brake clean blast. We're gonna hope she ain't stuck. No, she ain't stuck. She's practically rebuilt at this point. She's gonna be good to us. I can feel it. <laughs> uh, what I wanna do, guys, I actually wanna pull some spark plugs and just out of curiosity we're gonna bore scope this engine and take a little gander in there those are some good quality plug wires that one features the invisa spark a spark so invisible it's damn near non-existent i think my buddy and pal mortsky repair bought me this just what we need we're gonna reduce Big Mama. Yeah, she's a little rusty looking, but not bad. Yeah. She looks pretty good too. Don't worry about marking your plug wires or nothing. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> That one had like zero torque on it. Don't worry, they made up for it on number eight. That thing was crunchy. Like I thought she may have been cross-threaded uh, crunchy, but don't look like it. There we go. I'm not worried about marking all of our plug wires, uh, you know, whatever. But we are gonna mark number one, or what they have is number one. Uh, I have found a couple different vehicles so far that the plug wires have been off on, and that could be why they parked it, you know? They thought it was uh, running wrong, whatever. You just never know with these things. Wiggle our wire here, it looks like that one. So number one plug, uh, on the uh, small block Chevy, we're gonna go number one up here. And that is running right here. So we just hit that HEI with a little polished job. Get our old paint marker fired up here. And we'll mark her up. Number one practically fell off. Of course, this is a little trickier because we got this damn AC compressor right in our way. Pull all them. And number seven. Guys, a wrist saver is your best friend here. Uh, number seven was very crunchy in there as well. Now this thing may have been last tagged or driven in 09, but I don't think these things have been changed since 1979. We could shoot a little lube in there and just start cranking on it if we wanted, but kind of like a colonoscopy. I just like to do a little 
PM, little preventative maintenance or PC, little preventative check. We'll just take take a quick gander. And I ain't fired up my uh, examining tool here in a minute. Well, it took a minute or 30, but I got her half working anyhow. Go down into number two here, and she's kind of dirty, but I mean, well, you can't see much, can you? Looking at number four, uh, cylinder walls look pretty good there, and little crud on top of the piston, not much. This thing's freezing more than my wife when the damn air conditioner kicks on in the house. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of glance through these and see if we see anything scary. Number six looks all right. Number eight looks real clean. Well, we damn sure ain't gonna see nothing now. Uh, I may have disconnected it from my phone, and now it wants a password to reconnect, and uh, I don't know no damn password. Hell, yeah, that's all right, guys. If, uh, if one side of a motor is good, 50% of the time the other side's good. I'm gonna give these things a pretty mean spray job here. Can't find the hole, there it is. Uh, and we don't have to soak these, but like I said, uh, we're gonna. I'm really hoping we got us a good engine and not like a, it runs and we say it runs. I'm talking about like, maybe it can stay in this truck or get swapped to another one. I don't know what my brain's thinking right now. Uh, I just know we got this, we got old Roy, and who knows what's ever gonna happen. Got them all lubed up pretty good. Now speaking of lube, I, just because her dipstick's sticking up, staring at me there, wonder what she looks like. Holy pinky, that's some good looking stuff right there. Look at that. That's good, I guarantee it. Baby tastes like a cherry limeade. Well, since we're checking fluids and this old radiator staring at me, what, what we got going on here? So it's a little harder to see and uh, not quite as promising looking. I can see some green stuff in there. She's about, oh, probably right in there on the tank. And if she ain't low enough, if we uh, get her started, she will be without a Bluetooth heater hose option right there. Yep, that baby's just gonna shoot wherever. So before we forget, uh, let's just go ahead and kind of give her the trim job and fix that. Underneath here looks pretty unmolested, guys. Uh, don't really look like too much has been touched on, and of course I'll ruin that. We'll start ruining her with the hose clamp. Oh, she's crunchy. Looky there. Let's see, is she gonna trim? Y'all know these carpet shears ain't scared of nothing. She may not quite stretch. Unless we give her a little slack there. Tight enough for now, anyhow. Since we are checking fluids, and she seems to have most of them, uh, it's fair to assume she may want to suck up some bad gas. Uh, it may still have some in it, I don't know. We're going to cut our pickup line there, that way if it does uh, suck some up, we don't shove her up to our carburetor. Told you them carpet shears ain't scared. Uh, better safe than sorry, guys. Well, what I can see down in there is nice and clean. Now, since I want this to be a good engine, uh, every so often this evening, I'm going to come back out here and give her a little more uh, where we keep soaking it. And then tomorrow, we're going to crank on it, maybe check a little compression. And uh, we're going to see if the old quadrajet's going to be good or not. She going to be good, Bill? I doubt it. Doubt it? I doubt it. Mortsky said he ain't had to rebuild one yet for a revival, so. Really? We'll see. She's got two options, Bill. She'll, she'll be good or she won't. Found the old boroscope password online. Uh, all of our cylinders on this side look about the same as the other side. Except they may have a little lubrication on them. Pull our old battery out here and I'm not really a side post kind of guy. So these are gonna get the old conversion kit. We're gonna get the old Dirt Dauber Deluxe out of here. We're gonna need a couple of our clamp-ons. Uh, I ordered a oil change for this thing, guys. Uh, I wasn't gonna change the oil, but hoping she's a good engine. Uh, you know what, what the hey, let's get crazy. I figure, hell, the 
the truck was free, so we'll just we'll splurge it a little bit, treat ourselves. She's got some good hefty copper in her. Of course, our uh, positive here, she probably ain't gonna be quite long enough now. This truck was unmolested underneath the hood anyhow. Get us a battery and we'll see here. Whoop. Fits like she's meant to be. And boy, how does she make just reach. Or she may not. If you love taps with the oil hammer, don't forget your body ground. She comes with additional insulation there. Nope. Knocked her insulation clean off. Hey, we got a buzzer. Who's buzzing at me? Damn horn don't work. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! I was trying to give her a little smoochy, but that old, uh, our ignition, she's a little sticky. Well, they never come with good radios, do they? Scared the devil out of me. I kind of wiggled our little wiper switch and the radio kicked on. In order to get Anthony Davis. Begin in verse 30 as Adrian Rogers shares part one of what to do when faith seems to fail. Thanks, her in eat it. Well, she may pick up two channels, but damn it, them, them roadmasters back there are just a singing. We got damn taillights on. We got our marker lights on. Hell, we got some headlights, y'all. Not that I forget to tighten these things all the time or something, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and snug them. Get this baby up in the air. Boy, quality. Have a quick look, see. Boom! Dropped him. Boom! Dropped him. This is my house. This pesky SOB's been bothering me all morning. Uh, most people are afraid of those things. What most people don't realize is they can't take a punch, guys. You hit those things, they don't have time to sting you. They're just like, Pff, what the hell is that? Next thing they know, you know, it's over for them. He's really been swooping me all morning, so I'm glad I just got him. Let's play a game of I Spy. I spy a little rust. I spy a little grit and grime from a steady leak over time. I spy a real good leak back here. It definitely couldn't be uh, that being loosey-goosey. Holy poo poo. Boy, what in the puddle? I only thought this was leaking. Don't worry about our uh, drive shaft counterweights there. That is a serious leak. Maybe that's why she got parked. Didn't some of these trucks come with 10 bolts and some with 12, 12 bolts or did they all? I don't know. One, two, skip a few. Uh, she looks like a 12 bolt. Boy, I guarantee she's a leaking 12 bolt. I don't know if that's good or bad. I know the good. The leak ain't good, okay? I don't know if it being a 12 bolts, uh, you know, rare thing or not. I know it ain't rare. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't know if she's one of this truck's premium options or if they all damn had it. I come underneath here to drain oil, not find all that goodness. Wiggle worm the old Pot County Speed Ranch on her. I'd almost bet we just get dirty oil. Uh, I'm not really expecting no water or nothing, but I guess you never know. Maybe a couple rat turds will come out first or something. No water, just real thin oil uh, with a slight fuel smell. About to snatch that oil filter. Uh, a little more rust over here on this one too, I see. Let's see if old Lefty will get her. Yep. Don't worry, I brought my oil filter wrench. Yeah. She's all there. Oh. Oh, damn it. 
Now that she's pretty well drained, she's finally going to loosen off here. And that's exactly how oil chain is supposed to go. She's got the Napa Special. Uh, if you don't have Loctite, just glue her in place with dirt daubers. Classic rim job. We gotta get our drain plug in, but before we go back down for another round, we're gonna uh, grab our old switch here. Whoop! Get her snugged up and polished up. Of course, we still managed to make a mess. It's gonna try to find a way to put this onto our solenoid, but she's tucked up in there so much, we may just cheat and look for somewhere up top. We'll figure her out. Uh, let's get some oil back in her first now that we got our supplies. That way, if we get her hooked up and go to test it, we ain't cranking it with no oil in it. We're gonna break the budget on this one. Yeah. Got her as tight as I can there. Give her the Pot County polished job. I guarantee you she's thirsty. She ain't had nothing fresh in a minute, so we're gonna let her drink. We'll get us a little lubrication hydration in this old engine situation. We hit her with about five of them and we'll check her here. She's close enough and she's damn sure better quality. She's spoiled with the fresh oil. Next, you wanna take a little cotter pin and some pliers. And don't worry about what in the redneck I'm doing here. We're just gonna kinda shove her down in there. I think the orange wire goes down to our solenoid, so we're gonna hook our cheater switch up to that. So we're gonna hook this end here, this end on our battery. Well, maybe she's playing hard to get. Let's see if she cranks. <laughs> uh, I guess next we're gonna try that darker one. I'm used to them being purple. Uh, when did they swap to the damn purple wire for the solenoid? I don't know. Just like I didn't know that damn 76s had HEIs. I had to do a little Google research last night according to the internet uh so some production cars in 74 and then 75 everything started getting them i don't know that's what we're doing here learning and what we just learned is uh that orange wire is not gonna get this baby cranking so we're gonna try again here dark brown's gonna bring this old starter around Oh, she's cranking. She's cranking like hell because she ain't got no spark pluggies in her. So she just, she's getting it. And thank goodness, guys, because if uh, if our name was old Sir Mordecus, uh, we would definitely be pulling that starter off right now. But luckily, we ain't got his problems. Just out of curiosity, since we have the plugs out of her, I think we're going to drop her back down and maybe do a little compression test in here. Pop old Limpy back in. The compression test should tell us if she's got uh, any dirty, dirty secret she's hiding. I got us a premium notepad here, our compression tester, and we're gonna start right here at number one. Assuming I can find the hole and get her started. Oh, she's snug. We're gonna get our carburetor openers installed. Does allow max air to flow through. Let's go live on number one. Uh, it helps if this is attached. Try again. About a buck sixty's worth. <laughs> I am not mad at that. Number three is a buck eighty. Number five is a buck fifty-five. Guys, I'm gonna get the rest of these. Buck seventy-five. And upon completion of our little experiment here. Let me show you our results. The lowest we got is a couple buck fifties. The highest we hit was a buck eighty. 
and then everything else is kind of in between we got a buck 60 a 55 a 75 65 pretty good compression overall i say that loosely guys because we've seen some bad compression on engines uh this thing's it's basically a racing engine y'all need backup or y'all good well get me some cherries and berries on top of that yeehaw and i'll go damn undercover anyhow uh good compression we got her cranking uh why don't we see if uh, we can get some spark out of her to try that we're going to do a very simple test here we're going to turn the key on we know she has power if you don't believe me just ask the buzzer let's see here oh baby that old red lights are lit up so we're going to pop her back on because we got some type of power there anyhow let's just take one of our spark plugs from out of here and we're going to pop her in number one here you think she'll spark bill spark it yes i will let's see if she's gonna spark for us she's sparking she's nice and orange uh but she's sparking we got that hei sparking we gonna get that sky sparking too yep. she gonna come a storm we're gonna hit these things with a little restoration guaranteed to perform like new we mainly did that to get the rust off of these where she don't get stuck in my socket here uh, let's slap them all back in in get this side in she's a hell of a lot easier with that compressor not in the way we're ready to pop our plug wires back on we know number one and uh just like most vehicles maybe you can see her down there our firing order on the intake one eight four three six five seven two uh also Looks like we got a vacuum hose. Yep. That baby right there is broken off. Yep. Get her pulled off there. Vacuum's overrated anyhow. Who needs that? There you go. Oh. Damn hand cramp. I'm sure that'll be the only uh, vacuum leak we find. Nope, no chance of a vacuum leak anywhere else. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a little scavenging. I actually need to buy some more vacuum hose. Sometimes you just trim them ends and you get a good uh, seal again. We're gonna take that for now. Back to our plug wires. These things are the rat nibble specials. Go way down there and pop on number one. Next number three, so one, eight, four, three. That's this baby here. Pop, six, five. After five, we got number seven, or obviously our last plug wire on this side anyhow. And pop her on, maybe, come on. There she goes. We gotta walk her out here, guys. I'm doing the damn tippy toe so much, I'm gonna mess around and get a calf muscle on me. Gonna have to massage these babies out or something. So on this side, we're gonna start with number two here. Of course, we know number four because it's in the same holder. Number six. And lastly, but not leastly, number eight. Actually, that's not true. Uh, number four here, we're gonna have to reattack because she does have the Invisa spark and we know she ain't gonna spark. 
Oh, she's got the fancy wire separator. Well, to remove that, you just finish ripping her in half and she'll slide right out. We got a whole set of plug wires right here for something. Boy, between one new plug wire and an oil change, we're really going all out here. I guess this popped off of there, kind of looks like. Hell, I think maybe with a little Get Her Done 91, she may be uh, ready to fire up here. Found her uh, old Get Her Done 91 here, and she ain't looking so hot in there. That old oil already smelt like gas anyhow, so we'll just kind of let them do their thing together. Usually during my wheel it runs, I get just crap everywhere, and I'm trying to stay a little cleaner this time. And speaking of clean, we're going to polish our funnel here and uh, top this baby off. You know, that's the first time I've poured gas in two years and not spilt it. She looks a little better than uh, what came out of there anyhow. hey -o. Shot in here full of fuel. I don't know if that goes to our bowl. Uh, I've had quadrajets on vehicles, guys, but I was a, a very young pudding tang back then, and I never had to work on them. I'm gonna make sure our key's on. We're gonna see what happens here. She sounded like she wanted to go. She's idling, guys. <laughs> Holy clogged up exhaust. I think y'all probably got a show back here, I'd say. We had a smoke cloud out here, but the mist, these sprinkles, then took it away. What a couple blessed days we've had here. Great working weather. I can't think of nothing I'd rather be working on. Now, luckily, our engine sounded pretty good. No ticks, knocks, no... You know, sound like uh, two skeletons doing the hanky-panky in a trash can or anything like that. Uh, I don't know. This is just an assumption, but I told y'all I smelt fuel in the oil. And a lot of times, if you lose your diaphragm in your fuel pump, uh, that's where you start to do that at. I do not know that that fuel pump is bad, but what I do know is I don't want fuel going in the oil we just put in there. Basically, since she's got good oil, uh, we were pretty happy with our compression numbers. Uh, I'm not scared to slap a fuel pump on it. That ain't gonna do her. Up here we got damn HEI Central. Bingo, baby. And I think I've had this thing for a good minute, probably. I've had this since I moved back here in Oklahoma. I see I don't have a gasket there, and uh, I don't think we need the return for ours. I bet we take our old 5 8 here and just start pulling her and see what we got. Oh! That hard line damn sure had some torque on it. Pop her free. Then we get our two mountain bolts and uh, this one's in bad shape. She barely had any head left on her. You can see she's indexed the right way and everything. Uh, like I said, we just got this little extra here and... Uh, I know how to take care of it. We ain't gonna use no hose clamp neither. Gotta have them eyeball protectors. There's a little pinhole in there we just cut her down to. She should be ready for one quick hot tack it and zap it. Now will she seal? We sure hope so. Should you uh, weld next to your fire cabinet with the doors open? Well, hell no. Gonna try to sweep up a rat's nest before that damn wind takes it everywhere. Get most of it anyhow. Uh, hopefully that seals up. 
Next, we're gonna do a little bolt shop in here. Uh, those will be pretty close. And I'm usually not one to slap RTV on everything, uh, but I do have some red RTV already opened up. And I don't feel like making a gasket. The other side, engine side's clean. So I'm gonna hit her with a glob of this and we'll just, we'll see what happens here. Boy, I'm a mess maker when it comes to this stuff. You need to make a mess? I got you. Hell, got some on that bolt and lock washer right there. How? I don't know. It just got there. It's what happens with this crap. God bless it. Got her on that finger too. Uh, as we go to install this, we got the pusher arm thingy deluxe right there. For folks who don't know, inside that engine is a little uh, rod that pushes that. There she is right there. And sometimes if you get her with a magnet, uh, you can kind of slide her back up. So you gotta slide her up so that rod sits on there where you're pumping. Slide her up, shove her up. Then you slide her into place. Then you look, you get your magnet back out. By the time we get done with this damn video, my vertical jump's gonna increase by four inches. Yeah, there we go. Both of them tightened down. Woo! The hard line tightened back down, and uh, we need to run some pickup hose. We'll get us a few feet worth of some 3 8 here. Get a little torque on that hose clamp, maybe. Well, I think she's ready for a remote gas tank here, guys, so we'll get her hooked up with a custom, very custom one of them. Of course, we want this strapped in place. I'm sure we can figure something out here. Damn, that's perfect. Almost like it was meant to be. That loose screw was basically asking to help us hold that in. We're gonna top off our tank here. Don't mind that old used oil. It uh, basically like having a damn two-stroke. A little extra engine lubrication never hurt. Filling that up seemed to work really good last time, so we'll do it again. Now let's see if she wants to sing that old song one more time. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! What do you think about that, huh? I thought she was gonna die, but she stayed going. A minute ago when I was revving it up like crazy, it was flinging crap everywhere. So I'm gonna get my glasses back on. guys she rips this is the meanest sounding engine we've ever got running uh, our heater hose is leaking uh, <laughs> man we might have got lucky with this engine guys uh that thing sounded awesome she sounded she sounds like she means business anyhow uh i want to kill it because we're gonna try to tighten up that heater hose. I can't believe that carburetor's working so damn good when all we really did was fix a couple vacuum leaks on her. Let's get us a clamp on here. We can actually get tight, maybe. There we go. Luckily, that gas cleaned the uh, oil out of our funnel where she's ready for a little cooling action. thing runs better than my truck. She may be smoking a little bit. Finish topping her off. We're gonna pull this out of here before we get her in the belt. Wonder if any of our gauges are working. Something's flickering around. <laughs> Holy crap.
I cannot believe that much more a rat's nest just flew out of there, guys. But it's kind of giving me hope that if we get all that crap out of there, maybe the smoke will clear up on this thing. Well, so much for keeping a clean shop here. Uh, now I gotta disinfect the damn deep freeze and everything. And uh, she's smoky and we may have a slight water leak going, I see now. Oh yeah, we must have a heater core clean out of her. Uh-huh, safe to say uh, she's leaking. Slight leak anyhow. Oh, uh, leak or no leak, when she is running and you're ripping it, she she sounds mean, guys. Uh, way, it's way better than I expected, I'll just say that. Let her cool off a little bit here. Uh, I ordered us a heater core, should be here in the morning, and we'll see if we can't get the heater working on this thing. Uh, just playing. We're gonna bypass these. One heater hose goes to the top of a radiator, so to bypass this, we need these connected, and one's a five-eighths and one's a three-quarter. Of course, I cut them, but I ain't got nothing to connect them with, so we're going to do a little scrounging. What if the answer was right in the bed of this thing? Are you shitting me? You got to be shitting me, guys. I was thinking we'd cut up that sink, but this right here may be exactly what we need. We're gonna bevel and lube and hope that goes in that three quarter. Oh, you damn right she's going. Oh, she snugged up. I can't believe she had exact, well, not exactly what we needed, but for now, exactly what we needed. I'm gonna top her off with a little water this time. She's drifting a little bit, but don't worry. Uh, we weren't rubbing. Now, like most older gentlemen around here, let's just say uh, I got up at 4 a.m. and I worked all day, and uh, I deserve a banana split from the Brahms, so I'm gonna hop in my old GMC and go down there and get me one. What do you do? You hop in there and she fires right up. fires right up guys that thing that carburetor's good there's our oil and i can actually see it moving so she's got oil pressure she's hot but i can keep my hand on her so she ain't too hot this damn truck sounds like uh every truck where they say uh, they'll put a $100 bill on the dash and if you can grab it, it's yours. That's what this baby sounds like. I mean, what else did y'all expect from the damn wood grain edition Sierra Classic? I didn't expect no less from her. Every time you let her sit for a little bit, then you give her the beans again. Uh, we get more rat's nest out of that damn exhaust. I see we lost our drive shaft uh, balancing weights there. Uh, so maybe again that's where our smoke show keeps coming from smoke's actually getting a little darker now so i don't know if stuff's on fire or if she's just running a little uh little rich there either way folks uh we definitely have a runner here and as much as i'd like to say if she's gonna be a driver and everything too i just don't know we got time for that this week i think we need to get a temperature gauge on her uh really let her get up to temp uh get the exhaust maybe even cut off see how much smoke this engine is actually smoking or how much crap we're burning whatever and if it wasn't for stuff like uh the rear end leaking that bad where you know probably a bearings plumb made up or the bedside being in the shape it's in we may entertain the idea of doing something with this truck as far as keeping it together like it is, whatever, 
Uh, but that ain't the case, guys. What the case is, is we do have a leaking rear end that's probably tore up since it's leaking so bad and a bedside and a little more rust and dents and dings than I thought. And she may be a perfect candidate to uh, do a little body part swapping, engine swapping with uh, our old trusty old Roy. Old Roy needs an engine. Uh, she's running. And if that one ain't good enough, we still have this one here. Uh, so let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Uh, let's just be thankful we, uh, we have what we have here. What I have is a half running truck anyhow, half running hell. She, she's just a, she's a ripper. Uh, guys, I think that's it. Next week, we've got that car show here in Tecumseh, Oklahoma, August 27th. And for me to make my trophy in time for that and, you know, be able to still make a video and everything next week, uh, I've got a lot to do is what I'm trying to say here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed uh i enjoyed I, I have fun getting this old crap running especially when it goes as smooth as this guys we couldn't uh, really ask for an easier one it didn't whip whip us too bad or nothing so appreciate y'all watching as you know i'm on the instagrammer i'm on the patreon uh probably ought to delete that thing i'm not a fan of it anyhow i will see you guys next time but don't forget sitting on your ass won't finish your project and your project could be to pull a junker out the field and get her going. And I encourage you to do so, all right? Just get after it. Get her dead. Howdy doody. Uh, guys, I just wanted to take a minute after this video and encourage people to go check out the second channel. Get you looking at me may help anyhow. Uh, on the second channel, for the longest time, we just did mail time. And since I've stopped mail time and kind of gotten a groove of different things, basically I'm trying to put out at least once a week, I'm going to try to put out a shorter video there. These things are probably going to be 10 to 20 minutes-ish. It's going to be some easy job or something, you know. But the point is, it's not mail time. You get more put-in content, shorter versions scattered throughout the week. So if you're here at the main channel and you come and watch, uh, over at that channel, we're at 30,000-ish subscribers. And I'm just trying to get that baby growing. So I'm trying to get that baby growing. <laughs> Tune in there next week so you can see uh, for all the white wall cleaning experts whose uh, cleaning method works the best.